Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you the biggest wholesale secrets. This is how you compete with the big boys. If you guys are not doing this, you are literally going to be left behind in 2024. So guys, 2024 is a big year. You're either going to automate your business, you're going to bring AI into your business, or you're going to probably no longer have a business. So if you want to have any standing in 2024, if you want to be able to compete or be in the running in 2024, you need to watch this. You need to follow along. You need to implement these things into your business. The biggest thing is a CRM. If you guys don't have a quality CRM in your business that you can utilize AI plugins, that you can automate 90% of your business, that you can leverage yourself to take 100 times more action than if you were manually, you guys are literally going to be left behind. You cannot compete with the big boys that are using these CRMs. So I have my business partner Ernesto with me. He's wearing a cowboy hat. Guys, if, if you like his hat, put a thumbs up in the side chat. But... Even if you don't, put a thumbs up in the side chat. <clears throat> so, thank you for doing this show with me, bro. We, we do it every single Tuesday, like clockwork. Dude, I want to talk to you about systems, bro. How how has you know AI and a quality CRM made an impact in our business and gave us the opportunity to compete? Bro, and I think if we don't, you know, if we hadn't start using AI. A couple months ago, we would we would be behind mm -hmm. with the uh, you know with all the other newer wholesalers, but yeah, um, in the next in the next couple of years, if you're not using it in one way or another, you're gonna be left so far behind, and you know you're gonna be doing all the work by yourself and losing time, losing money. At the end of the day, you just lose money and time. You know what's funny, dude? People are still manually reaching out to buyers, like manually adding buyers to their buyers list. People are still manually following up with realtors. Like it's crazy. Yeah, yeah bro. So, I mean, I'm very glad that we started using like the bot and like the automations. I was really amazed with uh, Go High Low when I first started using it because, you know, mm -hmm. I got a bunch of my time back. How many buyers were you adding per day when you were doing it manually? Uh, when I was doing it manually, I think, I think I was like at like maybe ten. And then once you implemented the buyer bot, how many buyers were you adding per day after that? Oh, twenty five, easy, easy twenty five, right? yeah, easy twenty five, and. Yeah. For people that don't know what the buyer bot is, guys, we created a really cool buyer bot. Um, we brought the whole team together and we built this AI automation plugin that will communicate back and forth with buyers and collect their buy box. Ernesto, can you just kind of touch on that for a moment, just so people are able to understand what we're talking about when we mention the buyer bot? Yeah, yeah. So what, what he's referring to is uh, we. I was I was adding the all the buyers manually reaching out uh before go high level it was like on a piece of paper but when i got the when we got the um uh, the bot i was just skip tracing all the buyers adding it to the workflow and automate it automate automated message was going out to them when they would respond then the bot would pick up the conversation and get their bot their buying price their uh property type Everything, every, all the major details that you really need to know, you know, to dispo your deals, what yeah. area, uh, construction type, everything, everything. Dude, you know, I, I think one essential thing to explain with that is like, you know, with with this CRM, you can do things like that. But this isn't just like, you know, preset template messages. This is like you can literally incorporate AI into your CRM so that if you ask that buyer bot for an igloo in Florida. The buyer bot will tell you that you're being silly and ask you what you really want. Um, so it's not like some template response. It's like the AI actually thinks and provides you with a response. Yeah, brother. I mean, the AI bot, it answers pretty like legit. That question about the igloo, it was pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Hey, one, one second, bro. Please forgive me. I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem. Um, so while Ernesto is... 
probably doing some daddy duties. I want to show you guys uh, inside of our CRM. I want to show you guys some of the ways that we automate a significant portion of the work. <clears throat> you know, one one big thing is workflows. So we have text-based follow-ups. Um, for example, I have 926 realtors actively enrolled in a follow-up campaign. And what that means is at some point in time, these realtors have said, hey, I would like to um, send you pocket listings. And you just follow up with them until they send you pocket listings. So they're, they're offering to send you off-market listings. And then we put them into this follow-up campaign. So it'll the first one is wait seven days, and then it'll send a text message. Hey, contact first name. It's username. Just checking in on the property search and making sure you don't forget about me. Found any opportunities? And it likes it sends uh it sends images along with them. Like this one, it sent the hot hot lead South Park image, which I make all these memes, so I send them memes like crazy. Uh, then it's wait eleven days, follow up again. Uh, hey, contact first name. Hope you're doing amazing. Just wanted to check and see if you found any investment opportunities. Wait 13 days, same thing, right? So this, like, how many times do you guys follow up with your agents? I, I want to know. Put it in the side chat. How many times do you guys follow up with your agents? Give me, give Most me a number. Yeah, Ernesto. Oh yeah, no, I, I actually want to wait to see what how many times they, they're following up before I say that the uh, average amount. Mm -hmm. No matter what they say, you know it. It, it's funny because no matter what they say, we beat them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry if that sounds cocky, but I'm 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 being legit with you guys. No matter what number you say, we are more than you. You want to know why? Because we follow up infinitely. We follow up infinitely. Literally, the follow up never ends until they either reply stop or we purposely remove them from the workflow. The follow up is infinite. So you think we manually do that? No, <laughs> we automate all of that. Um, there's a couple of there's a couple of really good questions in the side chat here. Uh, Jeffrey is asking if the AI bot is included in your snapshot of Go High Level. So the AI bot is like there's there's a Go High Level aspect to it, and then there's some coding that you have to do um, outside of Go High Level. So we'll give you like the Go High Level snapshot aspect of it, but there's a little bit of backend coding that you will have to do with that as well. Um, Matt Duke says, what does Go High Level cost each month? Go High Level costs $99 a month. Uh, plus you have like small, it, it costs like 0 0.07 cents per text message, which is next to nothing. So if you're just starting out, you know, budget like 150 bucks a month for it. Um, Shane says that he follows up seven to 10 times. Shane, can I can I show you something? Check this out, bro. You wanna, you wanna see how many follow-ups I have pre-scheduled already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Just, bro, like I have, these, these all automatically go out, like, this is this is the CRM ta tactic that you guys literally can't afford to miss because when I when I was first starting out, you know, and I was using a Google Voice number and I was using Podio, I was manually sending a text to these realtors. I I got my list of realtors up to approximately 400 and then it turned into a full-time job of follow-up where every single day I had to send like, you know, 50 some text messages. Hey, realtor's name, do you have any deals? Yada, yada, yada. And I'd send it. And then I'd like go into Podio and I'd reschedule them on the calendar for like a week or two from then. And then, you know, text the next person. And it took forever, guys. It took forever. It literally became a full-time job me following up it became a full-time job me typing out these messages me texting these messages google voice kept marking my number as spam you know whenever a realtor would send me an opportunity i would be incredibly disorganized and i wouldn't remember which realtor sent it to me and so on and so forth so just just the aspect of automating my follow-up has saved us enormous amounts of time and so how much time do you think we would spend 
if we had to uh, to manually follow up? Bro, I think each message takes about maybe one. If you already know what you're going to say, uh, 30 seconds to a minute from the time that you look up the contact, the time you type it, the time it sends. And, you know, it's about 30 seconds to a minute. So, you know, I we got over a thousand over that we have thousands of contacts in our system. So mm -hmm. <laughs> talking thousands of minutes each every yeah. time we want to follow up. Well, let's let's actually do the math here. Like, you know, I, I, I know, for example, for myself, like contacts personally assigned to me, there's multiple people on our team, guys. So like it's more than this. But personally, for myself, I have 926 contacts on actively or sorry, 926 realtors. I also have the wholesalers, which are about like 175 ish. Um, so let's say let's say 1100, right? 1100 people need to be texted once every two weeks. It takes me one minute to send a text conservatively. So that's 1100 minutes every two weeks. Um, there are 40 hours in a week. So 1100, 1100 divided by 80 hours. No, how would I do the math? Let's see here. Um, 11, divide 11, 1100 by 60, it would be a total of 18 hours. 18 hours, 18 hours typing out messages. And that's not even including once they respond to you. Once they respond to you, you have a whole different ball game. You have to add more time, you know, organization and whatnot. Yeah. And the cool thing about like, if you were doing it manually, bro, um, mm -hmm. you know, there's a certain time where you're going to get the mo most like responses to your text messages like that. Mm -hmm. That would happen as well when I was doing like calls, you know, and, and you know, with agents calls as well. Um, usually in the earlier part of the day is when they'll respond more the later part of the day that they're not replying. So really, if you want to get the most engagement out of the, those 18 hours, you can really only do like five hours every day. So it would take you, it would take you almost a week, I think, you know, getting, um, it would take you about four days if you wanted to get the most engagement from, uh, from realtors or, or buyers. Uh, yeah. But the cool thing about what I was going to say, cool thing about go high level is that you can adjust the time that you want your messages sent to. So if you only want them to send from like 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., you can, you can add that setting and you know get the get the most engagement that way okay let's take a look at that as a matter of fact so let's say we want messages to go out only during certain times mm -hmm. um we could go specific window right specific time yep. restrict it to a specific time yep i love that yeah dude. yeah it's freaking dope hey what's um Question for you, bro. What it what do you think is like the most valuable workflow that we've built? The bot. The bot, <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, second most valuable. Yeah, second most valuable. Uh I think really uh the a really cool one is whenever we're underwriting uh people's deals Ooh. and and then an automated message goes through whenever we're done underwriting it. Okay, let's see. Bro, we were, remember when we first started uh, offering underwriting, free underwriting? We were like, we were spending a lot of time doing, uh, like, manually sending it to them. But so we were like, bro, we we have to make something to automize this. Oh yeah, this. Okay, so here we go, guys. Check this out. We literally yeah. created an automation where like we underwrite something and then after we're done underwriting it, we move it to the next stage in the pipeline, which is underwriting or which is offer price given. Um, and then it'll automatically send the message, hey, contact first name. So let's say for example, it's Leah. Hey Leah, it's Nathan, or maybe Ernesto underwrote it. It would say, Hey Leah, it's Ernesto. Um, your underwriting is complete. Here's a breakdown, subject property. It'll put the property address. It'll put all the different comps that we came up with. Um, it'll put our math. 
um, and it'll put the Loom video in of us underwriting it and let us know when you have it at this price so we can sell it to our buyers. It'll send both a text message and an email. Um, yeah. And then if, let's say, for example, it's a new person. Dude, I really like this thing that you added for the new people. Um, yeah. If it's a new wholesaler, then what it'll do is it'll send them our contact card. Um, and then it'll remove the new wholesaler tag and then add the um, the regular wholesaler tag and it'll add them to a follow-up campaign that checks in to see if they have any deals mm -hmm. yep that one was really genius bro i love that one yeah that one saves a ton of time bro especially we do a lot of underwriting for people jeffrey asks a really good question um what phone number service does go high level use uh for example google voice smartphone um Go High Level uses a phone number service called Lead Connector. Give me one second. Let me uh, let me pull up a conversation here. Okay, boom. All right. So, like, for example, here's a here's a conversation um, I'm working on. <clears throat> this is a realtor. Um, let's go back. Let's go back really far into history. We're just going to pick some really old conversation. I initially called her on September 4th. Um, which one here is the longer call? Four seconds, two minutes and 11 seconds. Okay, you see this? You literally have call recordings of everything. So let's see what I said to her on... Um, this was September or... September 4th. Hey, Liliana, how you doing? Hey, hey, I'm good. I'm sorry, I missed your call. That's okay, no worries. So, partner and I, we saw the property yesterday. Um, we'd like to stick in a backup offer. Um, okay, would be a backup to the... A backup to the backup. backup Bro, I remember this one. There, were, there was like, it, 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 it literally kept... People kept locking it up too high. That's that's freaking funny, bro. Um, but yeah, like you guys literally have recorded conversations. Um, phone calls are super cheap. Look at look at this. This is some of the workflows. So these messages automatically go out. Hey, Liliana, it's Nathan Harris. Just checking in on the property search, making sure you don't forget about me. Found any opportunities? Here's a hot lead you've been waiting for, and it's gone. <laughs> Dude, those yeah. voice recordings are so handy, dude. Uh, yeah. To me, when they've been the most handy is when I'm talking with somebody that has a very, very strong accent. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to sound like I'm not listening to them and ask them the same question over and over again. So I'll just be like, oh, yeah, whatever. You know, like I act like I understand. And then later... I listen to the recording and there's been times when I'm, I listen to it like five times to understand what, like what they said. So mm -hmm. dude, they're super handy. I love them. 100%. Bro. You know, I think what a really big one is, is organization, you know, of information, like the leads. Gosh, I, I wish I could show you guys exactly what that looks like without showing you like all my leads. Um, let me, let me pull up like one specific lead. Maybe we'll do something that we we didn't close on or, or something like that. Maybe something that like we put under contract, but then we lost. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Hey, um, I wonder if there's any way to blur out the screen, how like we can do it on Loom videos. I think we have to like, I don't know. We'd have to like get a third party plugin. What, what about this one? What about Lance? I mean, Lance doesn't like me either way. Lance was watching my live streams and he's like, he's like, why are you guys trying to get a price reduction? I watch your live streams. I know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he called us out after, after I had already placed a backup offer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, this is this is this is like our organization. So, for example, we have property address, um, we have the condition, we have the occupancy, motivation, 
Uh, terms of sale, price, link to photos. We have all our comps here. Um, ARV, wholesale price, math, Loom video. Um, we have even more information like property specific information, uh, creative finance information we can put on, contract terms, um, buyer's info. We, we, we can fill that out if we want. Uh, you can book appointments with them, tasks. Um, you can put notes on him. So like this is incredibly organized, guys. This is this is so organized. Literally, you can have an opportunity for every single contact. You can have all the details there. So let's say Lance calls me and he's like, hey, Nathan, you know, Jack Fish is now available again. Um, I can just pull it up in the CRM and be like, oh, Jack Fish, what was my offer for that again? OK, well, here was my offer. You know, where were my comps for that again? Oh, here were my comps. OK. And, and like I can take more notes on it and whatnot. Let's say he tells me some information about the motivation. I can pop that in. And yeah, it's just organization is such a such a crucial aspect. Er Ernesto, we are like we are like OCD about organization, aren't we? Yeah. Cause it costs you time at the end of the day if you don't have your, your stuff organized. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I mean, there you, you need the more details that you can get on the deal, the easier it's going to be for you to sell it. So mm -hmm. you need to stay organized with all that info. Not only that, like once you put it under contract and you need to communicate with Dispo, so like Ernesto's Dispo in my company, um, our company, and I'm acquisitions. So like I need to properly relay the information over to Ernesto. Right. And I can, I sometimes Ernesto will ask me questions. I'll be like, bro, just go check the deal card. <laughs> like <laughs> it's already in there. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I, I want to know from you guys, what are, what are your questions regarding go high level? First of all, first of all, actually put a one in the C in the chat. If you have a CRM, put a two, if you don't have a CRM. Give me a one in the side chat if you have a CRM. Give me a two if you don't have a CRM. Wow, look at that. So let, let's keep going. One in the side chat if you have a CRM. Two if you don't have a CRM. Poor Jeffrey. Poor guy. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Jeffrey's like, I feel like Jeffrey's like, a guy with a flathead screwdriver trying to chisel through a concrete wall. <laughs> okay. So there's a lot of you guys that have CRMs already. I want to know what CRM are you guys using? Can you put it in the side chat? What CRM are you guys using? This is going to be really interesting. Ooh, okay. Let's see. What else? What keep keep putting it in the side chat, guys. Whoa, freedom logic. What is freedom logic? Oh. I've actually okay. never heard of freedom logic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So a good amount of you guys are using go high level. Um is there any questions that we can answer for you guys regarding go high level? Because we're we're like nerds about go high level. So I want to I want to open it up for a bit of a Q&A. You know, I know a lot of you guys, you know. A, a lot of people, Ernesto, a lot of people, they have like Astro Blaster, they have go high level. But like a lot of them still feel kind of lost because it's such a robust software such a robust system. So, yeah. I want to I want to see from the audience like are there any things that you guys want us to specifically talk about in the in this go high level series? Here we go. Um Hervon says on the wait list for GPT-4, how long? Actually, bro, I have a way to get you around that, dude. Um, let me get you around that wait list for you, homie. 
Let's see. Ravon is going to be like so happy when he gets this. This is going to get you around the wait list, bro. Let me find you. I'm going to text you the pick. Boom. There you go, bro. Um. Okay, let's see. So Shane says, my account is fairly new, so I lack the organization y'all have. Where should I start? Um, I would recommend, you know, building out a really good snapshot, right? So like, for example, our pipeline, um, we have very good organization in our pipeline. We know exactly where our leads are in our pipeline. But not only that, we also have custom fields. So we have custom uh fields where we input information based on the opportunity itself and also information based on the wholesalers and the realtors. So like, for example, you know, a lot of you guys that are watching, you know, a lot of you guys text me and I have literally information on you guys. I know it sounds really weird, but I'm so organized and I'm so meticulous in my note taking that I have notes on you guys. I like to, I like to remember what's going on, you know, where we last left off. You know, I, I like, I, I have automatic scoring based on how many opportunities you guys send us. Um, so that that is all custom fields. That's all custom fields where like it's in questions in which I answer those questions and then I have information going forward. So like, for example, with you guys, you know, best market. I know where your guys' best markets are. Um, Luke, bro, Luke says, what are the notes on me? <laughs> Yoked. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's, like, it's like yoked Astro MM. Um, I think that's all I have on Luke. It's just yoked and Astro Mastermind. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, I would love, I would love to uh, uh, understand what Jordan Johnson was referring to. Are you able to run introductory agent outreach campaigns? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's build one bro you want to build one right now yeah okay let's do it okay so let's call it intro agent outreach Okay, so SMS. What should our first message be? Hey, contact first name. My name is user, full name. I am a local investor. And I saw that, or no, actually, I think I should keep it really simple. I should make it a really good hook. I'm looking to buy a home. Are you still selling real estate? Are you still an agent? Save action. Okay, boom. So SMS number one is, hey, contact first name. My name is username. I'm looking to buy a home. Are you still an agent? Okay, now once they respond, so like I think we should do um, if contact replies. Or no, we should do a wait function. Wait until contact replies. Yeah. Okay. 
wait until contact replies. And let's name it wait till reply. Save. And then we're going to add a second function of wait one minute just to give the illusion like we're typing. Okay, now um, SMS number two. Okay, so the first question was, are you still an agent? And then most likely they're going to say yes. Like 90% of the time they're going to say yes. Um, so we want to get them on, we want to get them to book a call or do we want to, like once they say yes, we could reach out to them immediately afterward. What's our, what's our goal from this campaign is I guess what we got to figure out. Um, let's see here. Jordan says, I'm thinking something like Astro Blaster or how I've seen Batch used for texting. Are you able to upload lists of agents and phone numbers or will you need to input them one by one? Um, you can upload lists of agents, like massive lists, and you can upload a lot of custom information with them as well. But Jordan, I think I think I've like kind of showed you like what you can do. You can literally build workflows. I don't really know for sure what the objective of this workflow is. Like if it's a um, book a call, like we could have question number one, qualify them. Are they still selling real estate? Question number two um, could be like, you know, when's a good time to call you? When is a good time to call? Boom. There you go. You, now you have like an incredibly simple workflow where um, the first message is going to check to see, you know, hey, contact first name. My name is username. I'm looking to buy a home. Are you still an agent? Once they reply, it'll wait one minute after they reply. And then it'll sec send a tech second text message. When is a good time to call? I feel like we could say when is a good time to speak on the phone about buying a property. There you go. And now you're pretty much going to qualify a bunch of people like, and, and set up a bunch of calls super easily. You can make that more in depth. We could geek out and spend like an hour building something really, really good for you. That's just to show you basically how you build something. Um, okay, let's see here. Jeffrey says, I am in negotiations on a bank owned property that I am getting computer generated counter offers. How do you handle negotiations with a computer? Initial offer counter dropped 15K. I adjusted numbers and countered computer counter dropping 15K. I countered with $1 increase, no response. Trying to get a human. For, yeah, bro. Is, is, are you even sure you can assign that one, bro? Like. And the other thing, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the uh, bank already set like the certain parameters of the price that it's going to sell for. So you really, the computer already has a number, basically. You're not going to lower it lower than what it's been assigned. Mm -hmm. And... I like this. Jordan says, this is super cool. Yeah, even if the agent responds, then I could jump in and take the wheel. I've learned agents can be a little tough to get on the phone slash respond to text. Yeah, Jordan, imagine you could just send a thousand text messages to agents and the ones that respond and say that it's a good time to get on the phone. You just get on the phone with them. And there's like special booking bots that we can build. Like we can build literally anything. You can build it too. Uh, we're just nerds. Um, but like if if Ernesto and I were to do something like this, the way that we would probably do it is we would probably build uh, an AI booking bot in which we would have AI converse with the agent, ask a few pre-qualifying questions, and then book a time on our calendar to call that agent. That's probably the way that we would do it. Ernesto, do you do you have any ideas if, if we were to build something like this? Yeah, yeah, that's how it would go, bro. Let let mm -hmm. the bot do everything and just notify us a time to call. Yeah. 
So, and, and for you people that are currently not using a CRM or uh, for Jeffrey, who's using Podio, um, you know, we can save you a bunch of time. Like this is literally just us helping you guys immensely. Um, we created a snapshot for you guys of a wholesaling business snapshot. So what that is, is if you text systems to 813-437-1709, you text systems to us, it'll send you a link to our snapshot and you can just auto upload it into your go high level. So whether, whether you're a new go high level user or an existing go high level user, you can take all of the workflows that we've previously built and upload them into your CRM so that you can save yourself a significant sum of time building out these systems. Um, let's see here. Jordan says, I'm still working to get myself out of a W2. So if this can run while I'm unable to talk, I think that would be a huge leap for me. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That is like, I want to, I want to talk about a story, Ernesto, just, just to emphasize like the importance of, you know, automations in the CRM. Go high level literally saved my business, bro. Because when I was first starting out and I was doing all those manual follow-ups, it became a full-time job following up with people. I was so disorganized. I had leads falling through the cracks. You know, I didn't know who sent me that property. Um, you know, I, I, I was terribly unpersonal in my follow-ups. My number was constantly getting marked as spam. Um, it was just, it was incredibly difficult to scale. And I had this one person come to me and he said, how much is your time worth? And I said, well, you know, I could go, I could go work a construction job and I can make like $350 in a day. It's like, really? Okay. So you're telling me that you're wasting like four days a week following up with people manually when you could spend a hundred and fifty dollars and buy go high level which can automatically follow up with those people for you and i'm like whoa wait a minute wait a minute i can spend a hundred and fifty dollars a month to save myself like four days a week that seems like a no-brainer to me What's yeah, up, Frank? Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Bro, Frank is really cool, dude. Frank Frank is a hard money lender. <clears throat> he's a young fella. Um, he's having a baby. He's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> this happens sometimes <laughs> on live streams. You just, you just like, what the hell do I talk about now? It's like I think I said it all. You know, there are there are some other aspects to go high level that you know are less common. Um, Michael Mucker says, Nathan Harris, do you have land buyers? Every single time someone asks me if I have whatever kind of buyers, I go to Ernesto and I say, Ernesto, do we have land buyers? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we have land buyers. Where where are land buyers? Everywhere, bro. Everywhere in Florida, but not in the middle of nowhere, right? Don't send yeah. us stuff in nowhere. Yeah, don't send us stuff where there's population is two hundred. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I think another aspect of go high level that I want to show people is the website builder. Um, and the email. Oh my goodness, guys! There's still so much more to go high level. I don't know if you guys know this, but when you DM me on Facebook, it goes into my CRM. And to keep it a buck with you guys, I get a lot of DMs and sometimes it's overwhelming and other people actually reply on my behalf. Like if it's simple things, like somebody DMing me a deal, somebody else might reply. And that's really good because that's more scalable, right? I'm able to serve more people. So you can connect your social media to your CRM. Like I have my Facebook and my Instagram connected. You know, you can you can do email campaigns. 
you can my god there's everything you can build websites um like i built this deals with nate website this is just a really simple silly website that i built let me show you guys this is this is the deals with nate website and there's a form on this website that when you fill it out it automatically inputs the data into my crm uh michael has a deal for us let me uh guys if you guys want to do any deals with us here send them to deals at rising star investment you can text me you can email me you can dm me um, do you have any buyers in houston i would love to bring y'all value to pay you back for the knowledge i've gotten from you did Jordan just change his profile picture in that in that short time period? Yeah, he did. Ernesto, is is there a Houston in Florida? No, Houston. Houston is in Texas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jordan, we don't have uh, buyers in Houston, but if you send it to Cody Galloway, send it to him and say Nathan recommended you, and maybe maybe I can convince him to buy me sushi in exchange. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Jeffrey says, when you get a text, how do you know when you should step in versus let the AI? Ernesto, I'm going to let you answer this question. Um, <laughs> let me remember. So really the, the first, when we were making that bot, we, there were some errors and we coded the bot so that if like, if if the question already got answered, don't ask it again. If uh, the conversation is not about real estate, basically drop the conversation, or find a way to come back to the to original question that you were asking. But yeah, once the objective was completed, which was com uh, getting the the four main questions that we need to dispo a deal to them, uh, the bot would would stop, and then. I would jump into that conversation and at the info and yeah, that was pretty much it. Let's see here. I wonder if there's like a chat <clears throat> that we can share without sharing our, um, our buyer. I don't think we really can. Can we? Let's mm. see here. Who's Ike fountain. Let's see if Ike fountain is um or you know yeah you know what you can do <clears throat> um just erase their contact info and go down the conversation if you want and just oh, just copy, like paste it somewhere you know so we don't lose it erase his name email phone number if i leave a like name but i don't leave any contact info you think that's good yeah, just first name, no last name. Okay. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> okay, that one didn't work. That one, that one, you ended up calling. So let me let me try a different one. Ricky, let's see about Ricky. Uh, Lance says, "Will you guys mobile? Will you guys look at mobile homes in Silver Springs, Florida, built in 1974?" Yeah, that's like not very desirable. That that's kind of like a gross kind of property. Um, so here's the thing: anything older than 1980, good luck getting financing on it. And if if people don't have the money available to to purchase a regular home, the likeliness of them having enough cash on hand to be able to purchase a mobile home fully in its entirety is very low. So it's just incredibly hard to sell mobile homes uh, older than 1980. Yeah, when dealing with mobile homes as well, most buyers like it with their own land. So if it if, if it has a monthly payment, most buyers will turn away from that. Mm -hmm. Especially like if if a mobile home is not attached to land, it's pretty much just a vehicle. Like you're pretty much just buying a vehicle. Uh, 
Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time finding. Um, of course, it's probably because I'm on the spot, but it's a little bit difficult to find a contact worth showing. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see here. You know, I think when... Hmm. Do you want to uh, do any demonstration of Dispo stuff? Like, you know, what what goes on with the workflows and go high level on the Dispo side? Maybe like the deal blast workflow or something like that. Yeah. Do you want to do a screen share? Yeah, let me figure out as well. What so about this? How about this? Why don't... Why don't we show them like how you prepare a deal template and we just show one that we've already sold? Okay, yeah. Let's... Let me look for it first. Okay, dope. And guys, like if you want to level yourself up in 2024, you guys need this kind of system. Like if you guys don't have a CRM like this, you're literally going to get left behind because you can't compete with infinite follow-up. You literally cannot compete with infinite follow-up. Our follow-up is infinite and you cannot compete with that unless if you get a CRM that is able to do that for you. So I really want to encourage you guys, you know, there's a 14 day free trial. It literally costs you nothing to try it out. I'm going to give you my snapshot as well. Um, text systems to 813-437-1709 and do it right now. Do it right now because I'm only going to have this automation on for a little bit. I'm only going to be giving away my snapshot for a little bit here. So text systems to 813-437-1709. You know, get that link to my snapshot. Um, that'll save you weeks worth of work building out your go high level. You'll be able to compete with the big boys. You'll be able to use automated text messages. You'll be able to send ringless voicemails, build websites, build pipelines, uh, be more organized. You're going to have all previous call recordings set up. You know, you're going to be able to connect your social media, have your social media funnel into your CRM, um, like email campaigns, everything. Literally, if you can think of it, most likely the CRM can do it. So really, guys, I, I want to encourage you guys to capitalize on this opportunity and do yourself the favor and set yourself up for success in 2024 by having a quality CRM. I'm willing to give you guys my snapshot. You know, Ernesto and I have spent a significant amount of time building this out. We've spent a lot of time building out this snapshot. Weeks, probably closer to months. Every single Saturday, we work on our snapshot. So. If you guys text systems to 813-437-1709, I'm going to send you a link to my free snapshot. There's a 14-day free trial. You guys are getting go high level straight from the source. But what you guys get on top of that is you guys get a pre-built wholesaling snapshot. So you're going to have all the exact same pipelines that we have. You're going to have everything. Um Albert says, does the 150 for high level include the bot? So just to break it down for you guys, go high level actually costs $97 a month. But I, I recommend to people that only get it if you have 150 to budget because you will have texting costs as well. It does cost a little bit of money to text. It costs less than a penny per text. Um, so budget 150 and Albert that will include the snapshot of the bot, but there's still a little bit of backend stuff um, that you have to do. Like you have to integrate um, chat GPT with some coding. So you're going to have like the bulk of the bot, but you're still going to have to do a little bit of backend stuff. But we're going to we're going to be doing live streams on building bots and whatnot. So stay tuned. Watch our Tuesday live streams. In the meantime, I would get go high level and I would start to get familiar with it. Um, text systems to 813-437-1709. Um, and then going forward in the coming weeks, we'll do a live stream on like building bots and whatnot. So this uh, is what Jordan, our... <laughs> Jordan's like, what's your number one more time? 813-437-1709. Sorry, right. screen. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that. Is that Jackfish? Yeah, that's Jackfish. That's uh, <laughs> the realtor we were talking about earlier. Here, bro, right. take it away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop off stage for one second. It's yours, though. All right, guys. So, 
Uh, first thing you see here is uh, an updated price. We were able to get a price reduction on this property, which um, you never want to tell the buyers that, uh, you know, that, uh, that the property just has a new price just because. Because then they're going to think that on all your deals, you have like this huge spread and you're just trying to get the most of it. So whenever you do a price drop, it has to be like for, for a good reason. I just put updated price. A couple of investors did ask me. I just said we were able to get a retrade. And um, you put your address, your pictures. I usually uh, get a Google Drive, add all the pictures on there. And then so here, when you click on this picture, uh, here, let me back up a little bit. So this is what everything looks like. You can add like a text box if you want to type whatever um uh, you can add buttons you can add your social media you can add um <laughs> youtube videos images so this image right here it would be one of these and then you would click on it Click on this and you upload your 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 photo here and then you will pick it out and here on this on this other text box uh i like to put all the details the price arv all the details of the property when it's closing how much of emd is needed where title is at and also i like to add a link for the google drive so um the way you would do that you would click that text to display would be the link to photos oh i guess this is not a valid website uh, but yeah, I mean, you would put the website there, then the name that you wanted to display, and it would look like this. Can we uh, can we see what it looks like when like they get it in an email? Like, is there like a link to the um, to the deal text? Yeah, yeah, I I'll show it. And then down here, you always want to have a disclaimer letting them know that your EMD their their EMD is going to be non refundable. Uh, they're more than welcome to do their inspections before depositing EMD. Once EMD is deposited, it goes hard um, by number. And then this right here shows you how it looks to them. Can you guys you still see? You got you, you guys switch tabs. All right. There you go. All right. So this is how it would look for in the email. Uh, I was trying to, I think if I go back. Um, Jordan Johnson says, I think I'll sign up for a Christmas present to myself. Now, I want to highly recommend that when you do sign up, you know, first of all, if you get it today, you're going to get a better price because it's Boxing Day. So you're going to get a discount. So I would sign up today, like spend your Christmas money today on go high level. You'll make that money back 10 times full, like hundred times full. Um, second thing is, you know, text me systems to 813-437-1709. Um, and you, if you want my free snapshot, you have to sign up with that link. So if you want my free snapshot, make sure you sign up with that link. Um, and then it's going to give you a free snapshot of our CRM what we've spent weeks, gosh, close to months building, um, that will be for free, but you got to sign up with that link. Um, so text me systems to 813-437-1709. I'm going to send you the link and you'll be able to get a free snapshot as well as it's boxing day. So you're going to get better prices with go high level. So I would capitalize on that today. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're running low on time, but I can show you guys uh, next time.
uh, how we create our our like deal template and then put it on a workflow how to create a workflow for the deals Ooh, i like that yeah because it's going to take a little bit of time yeah i think that would be um i think it would be really cool to oh here you know what actually this is a really good one um jordan said did you say in the previous lives that if you mentioned to the salesperson they'll knock the price down to like 70 for the first few months yeah so in your onboarding call with Go High Level, guys, this is a hack. Uh, this is a hack, guys. If you want to know how to get Go High Level for even cheaper, um, th this is what you guys should do. On your onboarding call, tell them that you don't think that it's worth the price. <laughs> and they will bring it down to $64 a month for the first three months. On your I wonder when they're going to catch on to that. What's that? I wonder when they're going to catch on to that. <laughs> I know, right? they're gonna they're gonna like come slap me they're gonna spank me or something i don't know um they're gonna spank yeah, guys. <laughs> like please please don't tell them i told you that because they might come spank me um but yeah you can actually get a discount for the first three months just by telling them you don't think that it's worth the price so <clears throat> don't don't sleep on this guys like if you haven't if you haven't you know texted me systems yet and received your free snapshot if you haven't, you know, signed up for Go High Level yet, like there is no way you guys can compete with the people that have Go High Level. Like Ernesto, can you can you manually keep up with an infinite follow up? No, nope. never, never. You have to sleep. Computers don't sleep. My follow up happens e even if I get hit by a bus tomorrow. My follow up messages are still gonna go out. Yeah. I should say abducted by aliens. That sounds better. If I get abducted by aliens tomorrow, my follow up is still happening. My teammates, the people in my team, I don't have to be on their butts about follow up. I don't have to be like, follow up, guys, follow up. No, the computer follows up for them automatically. So, guys, text systems to 813 437 1709. There's a 14 day free trial. You can get it for as low as $70 for the first few months. There's also boxing day prices. So you're probably going to get an even better discount. Um, you know, Ernesto, I actually wanted to ask you, like, maybe we should just like buy the annual plan because like they have like some boxing day sale on the annual plan. But let's 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 check out the deals afterwards and see, you know, what kind of sales they have today. But guys, yeah. Yeah. if you do not have go high level. Literally, there is no way you can compete with the big boys. There is no way you can compete with the big boys. If you are still manually sending your text messages, you will be left behind in 2024. For anybody that has Podio or some basic CRM and they're manually doing a lot of their work, how much is your time worth? Ask yourself how much your time is worth because literally go high level costs 97 dollars a month and budget 50 dollars a month for texting all in 150 dollars a month can save you weeks of time how much is your time worth i don't have a price bro Ooh, look at that jose says right now they have a deal for the first three months for forty eight fifty a month. Oh, damn! That's really good. That's a good price. Yeah, yeah. Text text systems S Y S T E M S to eight one three four three seven one seven zero nine. Get yourself that free snapshot. Lock yourself in with the Boxing Day prices. And set yourself up for success in 2024. Don't be a dummy and leave yourself behind. Don't self-sabotage by not getting it. Set yourself up for success in 2024. All right, guys. Till next Tuesday. Every single Tuesday, we're going to have a Go High Level call. So when you guys get Go High Level... Bring your questions to us on Tuesdays. We're going to have a Go High Level call every single Tuesday. Also, Go High Level has 24-7 customer service. So you're good. 
Um, and then every single Tuesday, we're going to do a go high level strategy call on how you can build out your systems to be more effective. There's one last question that just got dropped in the side chat. And Ernesto, do you think we can go overtime a little bit to talk about it? Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Andrea says, Hey, does anyone know the trick to test to texting? There's a new law out that you can't mass text. You don't. So here's yeah. here here's the trick. And I'm I'm gonna be a little bit vulgar here, guys. So cover your children's ears if they're listening. Don't fuck around and find out. Follow the law. Like, don't break the law. First of all, make sure you know what the law is. Um, and uh, Andrea, I would I would I would recommend, you know, making sure that you've read it from like the government website because I'm not familiar with that. You know, there's a lot of people that say stuff and there's a lot of there's a lot of rumors, but really what it is is you need to comply with the rules and regulations because texting is a gray zone, right? Let's be real. Texting is a gray zone. There's a lot of people that abuse it. There's a lot of people that abuse the texting regulations. And those people, they 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 mess around and they find out and they get their numbers banned. So we take laws and regulations incredibly seriously. Like, for example, you know, when we send our first text message, there is clear opt out language. It clearly states that if they no longer want to receive text messages from us, all they have to say is stop and we'll stop because otherwise you're harassing people. So if you want to mass text, you need to be collecting their consent. That's what it is. It's not that you can't mass text. It's that you need consent to mass text them. So there's a lot of people that have been running without consent. There's a lot of people that have just been pulling lists and just mass texting people without their consent. We make sure we get consent from everybody. The first step is realtors put their information out on the MLS and they say, hey, I have a prop. They're like, hey, I have a property. Please send me a text. That's consent. Okay. <laughs> you know, some realtors, they'll go to our website and they'll be like, hi, I want to reach out to you. Um, this is the deal that I have. That's consent. You know, when you guys, for example, when you guys text me systems to 813-437-1709, by you initiating that conversation, you have given me consent to text you back. So th those are all forms of consent. So make sure that you're following the rules. Don't break the law because you break the law. And I mean, nobody's going to come and spank you, but you you will get your number banned if you, if you F around and find out. Ernesto, what's your take on that? Yeah, I, you know, like Nathan said, don't F around and find out because it will, it will put you back a couple of days. Like your, your number will be get banned. I think it can be up from 24 hours to 48 hours the first time and then more the second time. And on the third time, I think you're gone right by the third time. They, they just get rid of your number. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and also guys, imagine you had 2000 contacts and then you lost your number. This is, this is why yeah. we take it very seriously. We have so many contacts. We have so many people that saved our number that we're not willing to F around and find out because that number and having our contacts saved is so valuable to us. Yeah. When when I did my transfers from my own number to the go high level, and that happens every time you switch numbers, I think I lost probably about 40% of my contacts. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I was going to say, mass texting, I think, I think it, they're referring to like when you're messaging 50, 100, 200 people at the same time. On go high level, you can put each contact on a drip mode, which it'll send one message every minute. You can you can modify it to whatever you want. Five message every minute, five message every five seconds, whatever you want to put. Uh, I would just say, you know, don't go over 10 messages in a minute but i like to keep it five four messages a minute because otherwise your number gets flagged that's a spam mm -hmm. yeah so there's ways around it number one way is don't break the rules in the first place you know keep mm -hmm. spread out rather than sending like 50 text messages all in 
instantaneously, spread them out like four text messages every one minute over 50 minutes or whatever. Um, you know, that that's one way. Second way is don't text people without their consent. So, you know, make sure you're getting adequate consent and yeah, just don't, don't, don't harass people. You harass people and you know, you're going to get in trouble. So this is a very powerful marketing software, but you have to be responsible with it. With, with great power comes great responsibility, says Spooderman. Or no, was that Uncle Ben? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, be responsible. All right, guys, come back next Tuesday. I already have it. I already have the event booked. So make sure you go to my Facebook page, click on my events, um, join next Tuesday, and we will have our next go ahead level call. Um, I have events booked throughout the week, so I want you guys. I want to encourage you guys to go check out what the events are that I have booked over the week. Um, like for example, tomorrow the Wednesday event is going to be how to wholesale for completely free. Um, literally had a wholesale with no money out of pocket. So if you guys are here today and you're like, I don't have the money for go high level, that's okay. Tomorrow I have a call that's going to go over how to wholesale for absolutely nothing, zero dollars. So join that, join us on Friday as well. Rocky's going to be going over how to do a business plan on Thursday. I'm going to be doing some agent calls live. There's a whole bunch of cool events coming out throughout the week. So make sure you're joining and I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys.